Alright guys, what's up? Welcome back to your 76th Android tutorial for the new Boston. What we're going to do is kind of clean up this little, uh, whatever this thing is. Um, right now, once we launch it once, it's not going to launch again and we still need to get rid of this. So, uh, first thing we're going to do is get rid of this uh, green ball that's being left behind. So let's scroll down and here we go. Um, basically what's happening is every time our X and Y changes, which happens every time we're pressing the screen, um, we're creating this green ball. And when we let up, um, this X and Y value still is equal to something, so it's still going to draw that left behind image that we want to get rid of. And then we also draw our shooting ball that is happening within our um, if statement that's handling the motion event when we release our finger. So an easy way to fix this is, as you can see, your if-else statement's only going to draw if x and y is not equal to zero. So what we can do is within our, um, let's scroll up to our motion uh, events, and within our motion up, we can just change that value to zero because um, the only time our x and y is going to equal something right here is when you know we have a touch event on our on our surface. So once we release, we can set those values back to zero and nothing's touching the surface and everything is going to be perfect, I guess. I don't know. X equals Y equals zero. Um, so there we go. We set up the X and the Y value back to zero. So there's no reason for our thread to actually draw this left behind image once we release. So hopefully that concept sticks in. The only other problem is uh, basically when we shoot it once, our AnaX and our Animate Y variables right here are when keep going up. You know they keep going up according to the scaled value. So we need to reset those values each time we launch. So we can do that every time we first click the button. So when our first plus starts. So what we're going to do is when we say go back to our motion events, we're just going to kind of set some variables back equal to zero. And kind of the easy way to do this is just to copy this line here. Um, so we're going to set the dx, the dy, the ana x, the ana y, the scaled x, and the scaled y all back to zero within our on down uh, motion event. Um, so right here. So we're just going to paste that we're good to go I mean I'm pretty sure everything's gonna start working now but hopefully you guys kind of understand that that concept obviously like I said before you don't want to program whole game like working with millions of variables like this you kind of want to set up your own methods that animate for you and all that good stuff but um, I just wanted to kind of show you guys I don't know exactly what I wanted to show you guys but I just wanted to show you that you know that uh, that nothingness, I guess. Okay, and obviously we're getting a problem, but I already solved it because I kind of clipped the video and checked it out. Um, as you can see, it's starting up in this top left corner for some some reason every time every time we launch, um, and the reason that's happening is actually because we just copied and pasted. Um, this without kind of editing or looking over it um, because again we copied and pasted it from our you know just our X uh, regular standard touching the screen but uh, we want to change this to the FX right here um, as you can see when we draw our bitmap test we're just going to change this to FX and this to FY and that that should fix the problem uh, because again when we every time we touched our x and our y value were set to zero and then it's trying to draw it from that zero location um, so that should uh, that should fix that hopefully okay and see now we're uh, we're almost done guys this is just part of the debugging process here um, as as longer you shoot the faster the ball goes so that's good everything's working but the only problem is when we clicked to start a new ball launch, um, down here this ball is still being drawn. So we got to fix that problem real quick. See what's going on there. Shouldn't be a big deal. Um, basically, what's happening is 
we are drawing we want to set this our FX equal to zero now when we start clicking um, so we're just gonna do that real quick up here um, so again within this statement we can just say FX whoops equals FX equals F Y and now that will set our FX and FY values back equal to zero every time we start a new down action so therefore it won't draw and then it won't draw that uh, you know that bitmap that was being left over there so hopefully everything's working now and we can be done with this animation stuff um, again if you guys want to learn more about game development and more of a uh, well structured kind of a uh, gaming development system I'm probably going to create something on my channel which is YouTube dot com forward slash my bring back so you guys can check that out I haven't created it yet so it might take a while but um there we go I mean it's not that cool but uh whatever I'll catch you guys in the next tutorial peace